The Michigan State Spartans face off against the Florida State Seminoles. Welcome aboard, everyone. We're getting ready for quarterfinal action. We're here at the Birmingham Arena in Birmingham, Alabama. This is Vern Lundquist with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wolfson. Give us your take, Bill. This game features a great matchup at the point guard position. Blair is a superb point guard. He is a tremendous rebounder for a one guard. This guy isn't afraid to get down and dirty. Torbert can also hold his own at the point. He's got tremendous hops, and I'm sure it won't be long before we see him send it in with reckless abandon. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. Michigan State controls the opening tip and we'll get this one started. The game has just begun and they're already in the minimum. Dishes it to the left side. Samti. Petrowskis has it. Baseline. Throws it up. The shot from beyond the arc was no good by Ebon. And it's still knotted up. Zero. Down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. Ebok inbounds the ball. Leads him with the pass. Petrowskis takes it up. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. He can't get the first. He's off on the second. Haven. Catches it in the corner. Crayola, it's money from deep. And they now go up by five. Samti dumps it down low. Ebot, here's the spin move. Banks it off the glass and in. They're now behind by three. Leads him with the pass. Goes up. It's good! We've got a full house today. And this crowd is ecstatic. They're in front, 7-2. to two. Petrowskis. Pass, left side. Reeser puts it up, off the backboard and in. He's got two. Corrigan inbounds the ball. Michigan State really knows how to put the ball in the basket. They have a great offensive mindset and can put points up in a hurry. Haven tosses it up, nails the tray. They take a six-point lead. Bold pass. Left wing. Shoots it. Grabbed by Petrowskis. What an offensive rebound. He's doing work on the glass at both ends. Errant last shot by Ebon. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Thanks, Vern. A little while ago, I talked with the Seminoles coach. He told me if there is one area where I want my players to excel tonight, it's rebounding. 
He said they know what a tremendous rebounding team they're up against, but they're prepared to make the extra effort to win the battle on the boards. Vern? Thank you, Tracy. Passes it to the paint. Ebot. Horbert from 18 feet away. It drops. But they're still behind by six. Corrigan inbounds the ball. About 11 and a half minutes left in the half. Haven gets it outright. Hands it off. Corrigan. It's picked off by Santi. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Has it on the free throw line. Petrauskas backs in. Launches one from beyond the arc. All net in the shot by Kobe. They draw to it in three. High post. Haven releases. Gets the second chance basket to go. They're out in front by five. They're set up in the minute. Petrauskas dumps it off. Ebok goes up. The uptake was a good one, and so was the layup by Petrauskas. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Corrigan inbounds the ball. About ten and a half minutes left in the half. Passes it to the wing. Goes to the crossover. Hopes free. And it's scooped up by Weezer. I like how he gets himself into defensive position at the right place at the right time yet again. Torbert catches it. Right wing. Santi. Gets it, right side. Corey gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach. Torbert bounces it inside. Sunk by Kanate. He's got two. They're going to double-team it. Anticipates the pass. I'd love to see that. He was working around then pounced. Such a deep burn. No good on that last shot by Torbert. Just over nine minutes left in the half. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Corrigan from the baseline. Clinton grabs the rebound inside. Clinton did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Canate. Just missed it. No three-point opportunity, but he'll go to the line for two. Can't sink the first. Three throws good, and we're all knotted up. Corrigan inbounds the ball. The Seminoles will take a timeout. Swings it to the right wing. Neighbors catches it on the free throw line. Lob, low block, puts it up. Santiago yanks it down inside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Michigan State. Both teams are making substitutions.
Andrew. Has it. Out left. Backs in. Santi beats it to the wing. One on one. Baseline. Dishes it to the wing. Corbett can't take the lead. And it's still all knotted up. To end their drought. Not there by Catalinus. And it's still all tied up. 14. Corbett. Passes to the wing. Corbett has it. Baseline. Santi swings it to the wing. High post. Knocked loose. Stripped away by Eva. This is the first. Neighbor is checking into the game. And that one puts them ahead. Well, let's get back to the action. Catalina inbounds the ball. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. They've got their defense and it's minute. minute. Dishes it to the high post. Catalina feeds it to the left wing. Haven catches it right wing. Corralled by Reeser. They're still down nine. Dish, top of the key. Petrowskis. He's doubled up. Ebok from the wing. Traor. Pulls it in. They're still up by one. Gets it outside. Haven hits it. He's shooting 100% from downtown. The no zone is having some fun now. Oh my, that's what it's all about. The passion for their team is just awesome. Santi passes to the high post. Tosses it up. Good tight defense there. It was missed by Torbert. Just over six minutes left in the half. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. It's stolen by Ebar, and that'll be his second steal of the contest. Uh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. To the free throw line. Skips it to the right block. Get that out of here. Oh, oh, sure. He looked like a volleyball player spiking that thing. Neighbor. Ebot grabs the rock. Oh boy, he had it and he pulled the string. Yes, that's a shot he very easily could have made. Neighbor has it down low. Down the first one. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. He gets them both. Gamate inbounds the ball. Feeds, high post, Ebok, from 17 feet out, Blair pulls it down. That's the shot you work for, Bill, even though he's not their number one option. The defense will have to show him some respect. 
because he will hit that given another chance. Traor dishes to the left. Snatched inside by Kanate. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, it might have. Ibar. Leads him in. Ibar catches it inside. That last 19-foot shot was off target. Just over four minutes left in the half. Blair went after that rebound hard. Great work. Neighbors backs him down. Nice dish by Neighbors. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. Kanate inbounds the ball. Ibar catches it, right wing. Santi dishes to the right wing. To the free throw line. Santi hands it off. Swings it to the wing. Ibar raises up. Can't put an end to the scoring drought. Ibar is having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence, but it's hard to see how it wouldn't. Andrew. Off target on the last layup. The last basket is nailed by Neighbors. It is so tough to stop a player when they get it close like that. Michigan State will take its first timeout. Risa inbounds the ball. Passes it to the left wing. Wirch gets it. High post. Pass. High post. Torbert. From 17 feet out. Connects. But they're still down by six. 235 left in the first half. Treor beats it to the top of the key. Right wing. Bounces it to the right wing. Takes it up, can't convert, but he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. Can't sink the first. Good on number two. Kanate inbounds the ball. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Miniman. Torbert. Two minutes remaining. Wirtz crosses it over. Wirtz is down on the court, and he may have injured his knee. Well, that's bad news. You just hope it isn't too bad, Vern. I know he's a tough kid. I bet he bounces right back. And we'll try to get an update on his condition as soon as possible. And he makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. Oregon inbounds the ball. 156 left in the first half. Treor gets it on the elbow. Corrigan has it left wing. The three-pointer knocked down by Andrew. Michigan State calls timeout. Corbett passes to the right. Leads him with the pass. D. 
dishes to the wing. And it's scooped up by Kanate. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep. And then capitalize. That last shot from 19 feet made by Torbert. He just rose up and made it. That silky smooth release does him well from that distance. Santiago. Flip up and in on that last layup. No way he was coming up empty when he got the ball that close to the rim. Passes it to the right side. Ibar, double clutches. Kanate gets the rebound. Corbett catches it, left wing. Kanate didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. Reeser catches it, far side. From deep! Nearly had a chance for the four-point play, but he'll go to the line for three. Penalty situation. Shooting three. He misses the first. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. And he nails the first. Ibar will lead the floor, and he's really been struggling so far. Corrigan inbounds the ball. Worch was hurt earlier on. And Tracy Wilson has checked on his condition and has this update. Tracy? There's good news to report. The knee is a little bit swollen and sore, but there is no serious damage. There's still a chance he'll return to this game, depending on how he feels. Guys? Thanks, Tracy. And we're headed to halftime with the score 29-24. to 24. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. And now it's time to show you our player of the half, Bill. Havens has been just deadly, Vern. The hoop must look five feet wide to him right now because it doesn't seem like he's missing anything, inside or out. He's been an offensive force. Absolutely on fire. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Corrigan inbounds it to start the second half. Dumps it off. Swings it to the wing. The crossover. Haven. Dishes. Left wing. Blair. Foul. Just missed it. No three-point opportunity. But he'll go to the line for two. He gets it! And he'll come away one of two. Great offensive rebound. He worked so hard to establish position. Gets it. Right wing. One on one. Uba, the monster slam. He's 
shooting 20% for the game. Corrigan inbounds the ball. Out right. The spin passes to the low block. Last shot missed by Cato. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Corrigan dishes it to the top of the key. Haven catches it, left wing. Blair gets it right wing Corrigan passes it to the free throw line right wing bounces it to the right side Kato Blair shoots it gets it to go with the shot clock winding down they're up 32 to 26 leads him in Corrigan. There's a whistle. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. He can't get the first. He sinks the second. Petrowskis inbounds the ball. Under 13 minutes left in the second half. Santee dumps it off. Ebot pulls the trigger. Pockets the three ball. He's one for three from beyond the arc. Swing pass, left wing. Haven. Catches it on the elbow. That last 20-footer was offline by Blair. Terrific job clearing some space under the glass. Physicality prevailing. Santi dishes to the elbow. Left wing. Skips it to the strike. Torbert throws it up. He rips down the rebound. Ebot throws up and gently drops it in. He's fourth for 12 for the game. It's loose. The crossover. He fouls him. He still almost got it to go even with the contact. He'll have to earn the points at the line. The Seminoles will bring out some reserves. He ties it up. Catalina inbounds the ball. Passes to Corsai. Lead pass, down low. Last shot may win by Nabors. He found a little wiggle room and went aggressive to the rack. Extremely effective. Just over 11 minutes left in the second half. Ebon. Has it on the strike. Petrowskis feeds it to the baseline. Ebot. Torbert for the lead. Gets it to fall. 
14 points, and he's the top scorer. Picked off. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Ebar has it. Outright. Corbett. Off the mark from the land. But they're still out in front by one. Leads him in. Blair takes it right in. Nice look by Hayden. Three assists, and he leads his team in that category. Corbett passes to the high post. Right side. Petrowskis takes it up. He snatches it off the glass. Flipped it up and out. His team really needs him to hit that. And here's the State Farm drive of the game. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Ibach inbounds the ball. Under 10 minutes left in the second half. They're playing man-to-man -man here, Vern. Skips it to the right. Santi. Corbett from 20 feet out. Nothing but net. They cut it to one. Blair passes it up court. Catalina catches it. Left wing. Blair with the shot. He grabs the rebound. Traor goes up. Hangs and hits. They're now up by three. Ebot bounces it cross court. Corner. Dishes it to the free throw line. Petrowskis misses it. Great rebound. The big fella's not afraid to do the dirty work, Vern. Neighbors. They're bringing the double team. Treor launches one from beyond the arc. Both teams are making substitutions. Reeser inbounds the ball. The Spartans with some difficulties. Dumps it to the paint. Fouled hard and he'll take a trip to the line. He can't get the first. That's disappointing for them, Vern. But it's not too surprising because he's not known to be a good free throw shooter. Corrigan. Haven passes it to the wing. Under eight minutes left in the second half. Clinton takes it up. He had a chance for the three-point play, but couldn't get the slam. He'll shoot a pair of foul shots. There's no arguing that call. He definitely got hacked. And he makes it. Catalina is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Gets them both. Catalina inbounds the ball. Feeds it to the high post. Catalina, his first shot. He rips down the rebound. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one.
Florida State needs to cut down on the turnovers. And Tracy is near their bench. Tracy? The Seminoles coach stood in front of the bench a moment ago and said, if we can't hold on to the ball any better than this, there is no way we can win this game. Guys, he's trying to get his message across loud and clear. Thanks, Tracy. No good on the last layup by Catalinas. The Spartans. A score here will knot it up. Just throw it down! His coach is going crazy on the sidelines. Reeser backs down. We are not used to seeing him on the low blocks like that, Bill. But he fought like crazy inside, got the bucket. you got to love that effort. Catalina. It's off. And it's still knotted up 44. Throws it up. What a run. They're doing everything right on both ends of the court. The Spartans are going to bring all their starters back out there now. Treor has it. High post. Poked loose. But it's recovered by Treori. Feeds right wing. Haven. Catalina swings it to the right wing. High post. What a pass. Treor to end the run. Swish. We've now got a tie ball game. Under six minutes left in the second half. Santi. Skips it to the right wing. Risa takes it up. Rips it through with the one-handed slam. Ibar with a great look. Eight assists. And he leads both teams in that category. Neighbors inbounds the ball. Leads him with the pass. Stolen away by Corbett. The break is on. Santi catches it in the paint. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Passes to the stripe. Reeser. The last shot laid gently in. How about that look? Beautiful cut and a terrific lead pass. Catalina passes far side. Right corner. Haven feeds it to the wing. Tosses it up. Misses the tray. Michigan State still holds a narrow lead. Spins. Petrauskas hands it off. Reeser gets it, left side. Torbert. Torbert from B, drops. And they go up by seven. Passes it to the wing. Catalina to put him into the run. Banks it in. And they're now down by five. About three and a half minutes left in the second half. Reeser. Dishes it to the left block. Block! Big time rejection. It seems like nothing can destroy this guy. But he will destroy you in a heartbeat. Neighbor has it on the elbow. Pass perimeter. The steal! Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. He bought. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Catalina bounces it to the baseline. High post. 
Corrigan unloads. He snatches it off the glass. Missed shot in the paint by Peter. That's how to play this game. Establish position. Grab the offensive board and finish the play. Nicely done. Reeser inbounds the ball. The crossover. Ibach goes up. He snatches it off the glass. Blair. No good! 159 left in the game. Bounce pass inside. Nice board work. He makes rebounding look easy. And believe me, it's not, Fern. Torbert takes the shot. He rips down the rebound. Blair takes it up. He gets hammered, and he'll head to the strike. right there to trim this lead. Just what the doctor ordered for them. Michigan State calls timeout. They lead by one. 141 left in the game. Risa inbounds the ball. Spins. Iba cannot stop the drop. They're still up by one. When he got there in time, it looked like he was leaning when the contact occurred. Target on the first. Oh, Vernon, he gets the big one. We're tied up. He's got some onions. 131 left in the game. Corbett dumps it off. Risky pass. Eba, graceful finish. They're now out in front by two. Corrigan inbounds the ball. Intercepted. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Freyor. Haven. He steps on the line. It was too late when he realized he was on the line. You've got to be a little more heads up for him. This is a crucial possession. Torbert skips it to the left side. Ebon, he grabs the rebound. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Haven shoots, hits the quick shot. He has a great feel for the game and its timing. He is such an outstanding passer. Left wing. Dishes to the left wing. Eba, he grabs the rebound. No good on that last shot by Petrowskis. Keita floats it up. No good. He had a shot to win it, but couldn't get it to go. Regulation has ended, and we're heading to overtime. It's been a real hard-fought game so far, and that's all you can ask for. I like what I've seen from the fellas so far. The Seminoles control the tip. Haven. Passes it to the right side. Keita goes up. They take the lead. He's got 10.
Ibach catches it. Left wing. Corbett. It's good! He's shooting 57% from long range. About four and a half minutes left in overtime. Leads him with the pass. Stolen! He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Gets it. Right wing. Corrigan dishes to the right wing. High post. Blair releases from 16 feet. On the money. He's got 11. Torbert. Shoots. Nothing but net. He's shooting 56% for the game. About three and a half minutes left in overtime. Bounces it to the high post. Blair hands it off. Dish, right wing. Blair can't capitalize. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Well, let's get back to the action. Corrigan inbounds the ball. 250 left in overtime. Corrigan. Blair from 18 feet away. Buries it. But they're still behind by one. The Spartans all time. They're up by one. 229 left in overtime. Ebot passes to the wing. Dishes it to the top of the key. Matrauskas dumps it off. Sizing up his man. Samti. Lobs it to the strike. Lisa shoots it up. Oh, a big turnover on the shot clock violation. You really have to be aware how much time you have left and make the most of it. It's inexcusable not to get a shot off. Treor inbounds the ball. The Seminoles trying to take the lead here late in OT. Corrigan gets it. Right wing. Feeds. Right wing. Misfired on that last three by Havens. The D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over him driving it in. Reeser. Santee swings it to the right wing. Corbett, he snatches it off the glass. The Seminoles can get back in the lead with a basket here. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Skips it cross court. Knocked free. And it's gathered up by Corbett. Santi takes it up. Slides in with a soft finger roll. Elegant. Who says basketball has gotten away from the finesse game? That was pretty. Corrigan. Keita gets it on the strike. There's a whistle! Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two.
off in the second. Massey, outside. One second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Corrigan. Haven hands it off. Blair to put them ahead. He snatches it off the glass. Last basket on the mark by Cato. Santi lets it go. It's off the mark. We're going to overtime. Oh, we've got a heck of a finish coming, Vern. Neither team wants to blink first. Michigan State gets the tip. Passes it to the wing. Santi. Corbett for three. Can't get it. And it's still all tied up. 64. Haven. Foul. Just missed it. No three-point opportunity. But he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. Knocks it down. Gets the second to fall as well. Petrowskis inbounds the ball. The student section sounds pretty excited for him. I think they like what they're seeing. You know exactly where you are when you hear that sound. These fans are wild. Santi has it. Left wing. Hits the soft reverse layup. It's knotted up. Right around four minutes left in double overtime. Swing pass, right wing. Haven. Blair, the three ball. He grabs the rebound. He did a real good job to stay that close on a shooter. Just getting a hand up will bother most players enough to make the miss. Catches it, baseline. Corbett, swish. He's got 28. Corrigan inbounds the ball. Haven tosses it up court. Treor from about 19 feet. It falls. And we're all tied up 68. Picked off. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Dumps it down low. Corbett. Ebot from 17 feet out. Doesn't fall. And it's still a tie game. The crossover. Treor gets it out left. Treor. Has it. Right side. Keita beats it to the baseline. Treor gets the go-ahead bucket. They're ahead. 70 to 68. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Reeser inbounds the ball. High post.
Corbett. Ebot gets it, right wing. The last shot missed from three-point range. 136 left in double overtime. The steal! Ebot takes it up. Foul! He had a chance for a three-point play, but couldn't get the slam. He'll shoot a pair of foul shots. No good on the first. That might really hurt this team with the game on the line. Catches it outright. Corrigan raises up. Nails it from the wing. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. Santi passes it to the high post. Petrowskis dumps it off. Ebot to end the drought. Nothing but net. This game plan is simple. Just get him the ball. He's your main guy. Lethal. He is so hard to defend. Right side. Corrigan. Beats it to the right. Haven catches it. Far side. Last play off the mark by Blair. Petrowskis, he fouls him. They're in the penalty, so we'll head to the line for a 1-1. Good foul there. They need the ball back as soon as possible. There's nothing worse than missing the front end of a 1-1 one one at this stage. You can feel the points slipping through your fingers. Swing pass. Left wing. Corbett. Oh, no! With a chance to win it, he can't knock it down. Tough break. And it's all over. The Seminoles just get by Michigan State, 72-70. to 70. Now we'll bring you our player of the game. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel back in the studio for today's Pontiac game-changing performance. Hi and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel and we're going to bring you our Pontiac game-changing performance. We were treated to some extra basketball tonight thanks to some late game heroics. The Florida State Seminole would go on to pull out the win in OT, but it was this shot that made it all possible for them. Desperately needing a basket, this clutch shot tied the game and broke the spirit of the opposition. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Rafferty. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.